Finally, the wait is over. Tata Motors has announced the launch of the car. This is not just a new launch. It is the beginning of an entire new segment. Though the car falls in the compact SUV segment by means of price, its distinct body style creates a new segment in the country, just like Ford EcoSport. The car gets a versatile powertrain option. It comes in electric, it comes in petrol, and it comes in diesel as well. So let's see some interesting factors about the car. But as always, let me remind you to subscribe this channel and like this video, because I bring here interesting automobile content. First of all, its design. From last few years, Tata Motors is doing very well in design. The latest product of Tata Motors are not only good looking, but they are practical as well. But now, I can't believe on my eyes. The production version of car is very similar to its concept. It's amazing. It looks very nice. The car is 4308mm long, 1810mm wide, and 1630mm tall. The wheelbase is 2560mm, means there is plenty of room inside. The boot space is 500 liter, that is best in segment. It has a tall and bulky stand, thanks to the upright bonnet. You will find some design elements are inspired from Nexon, like the headlamps and connected DRLs. Though this particular vehicle is ice, it has a closed EV sort of grille. The car is actually more interesting from the side and rear. It gets 18 inches alloy wheel over here. The glossy cladding makes the car more premium, while the sloping roofline is USP of this car. The plush door handles also can't be ignored. At the rear, it gets connected LED strip. It looks good from the rear as well. The interior of Cobb is identical to Tata Nexon. Actually, the interior of Nexon facelift is inspired from Cobb concept. Anyways, it has a sleek and neat dashboard. A massive touchscreen infotainment system over here, followed by sleek AC vents, followed by touch-based HVAC control. The steering wheel is same as Harrier. Also, we can't ignore the digital driver's display. The ice version will get tan black interior, while the light theme is reserved for the EV only. Talking about features, the curve has a long list. It has connected DRLs with welcome and goodbye swipe, plus door handles, panoramic sunroof, 12-inch touchscreen infotainment system, connected car tech, JBL music system, digital instrument cluster with navigation projection, cruise control, wireless charger, ventilated front seats, electric tailgate, electrically adjustable driver seat, puddle shifters, and much more. The electric car comes with multi-stage regeneration, arcade EV, and EVA which is basically acoustic vehicle alert system. It also supports vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to load supply, by which you can charge another EV using your car EV. And in vehicle to load supply, you can power any home appliances using your car EV. The car is based on Atlas architecture, which is basically the evolution of Gen 2 architecture. The cell of Corp is marvel of intelligence. The chassis has 52% weight, which promises safety, rigidity, and durability. And it is designed to absorb and distribute force evenly across the body in case of collision. The structure has lower center of mass that offers a better stability. Talking about safety features, the Corp gets 6 airbags, ABS, EBD, electric stability control, heel hold assist, 360 degree parking camera with blind view monitor, and EDAS level 2. The EDAS is interesting at itself. It comprises 20 autonomous features. The car gets a powerful battery motor pairing. It comes with two battery pack options. A smaller 45 kWh battery pack that offers 502 km range. With this 45 kWh battery pack, the power output happens to be 150 PS and 250 Nm. Another is a bigger 55 kWh battery pack that offers 585 km range in a single charge. The power figure with this battery pack is 167 PS and 250 Nm. Tata Motors has introduced two new ICE engines with Corp. The 1.2 liter Hyperion and 1.5 liter Cryojet. The 1.2 liter Hyperion is the most awaited turbo GDI engine. 
that produces 125 PS power and 225 Nm torque. The 1.5 liter cryogenic diesel engine is good to 118 PS power and 260 Nm torque. One more interesting thing. This is the first BS6 diesel engine that does not require air blue. There is a 1.2 liter turbocharged MPI petrol engine is also offered, which is basically the Revotron engine of Nexon. All these engines are coupled to a 6-speed manual and 7-speed DCT gearbox. There is a technology offered in DCT that prevents rolling while parked, auto park lock. It detects the presence of driver and locks the tire. So that's all about car. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe this channel and like this video for such more interesting and informative videos.